Just do your boy a favor, all right? Do your boy a favor. First of all, good morning on this lovely Tuesday, all right? Good morning on this lovely Tuesday morning. Victory still. Still a victory. But if you're a Philly fan, you just, just, what a beautiful moment to be an Eagles fan. Eagles finally defeat a few narratives. Hurts is no longer a shadow of Tua. You can't say our schedule was a fluke. You feel me? We're playing, we have a way tougher schedule than the Niners. And they, they can't even get past bum teams anymore. They just lost to the Browns with, a, with an XFL quarterback. And they just lost to the Vikings, the same fan base that said we was overrated for um, barely beating the Vikings. And just like that, they lost. They lost. We don't forget the narratives. You feel me? And the Cowboy fans, well, they're on a bye week, but they seem pretty stressed out for a bye week. I mean, me, I wouldn't really give a fuck about what other teams doing. I'd be enjoying my bye week. Y'all wouldn't even hear about me. Y'all would think I was off the map. But them, oh, no. They were waiting for us. They were waiting for us. And now, look, it's a stressful bye week. But it, it, it feels like it, it's just a beautiful moment to be a Philly fan. Even though the Phillies lost game six, you had one fucking job. Now we got to go to game seven. It would have been a perfect. But you know what? I'm still feeling good. Eagles are quite. I, I had a feeling the Eagles were going to acquire safety soon after. I just had that feeling and just like that. We took in a damn good safety from Tennessee. Not only that, but we got rid of Terrell Edmonds. What a damn good feeling to be a Philly fan. A damn good feeling to be a Philly fan. A damn good feeling to be a Philly fan. Just, I just, I'm just walking now. It's a beautiful morning. You know, the leaves are changing colors, as you can see. Kind of my favorite moment of the of the season. You know, it's it's uh, fall. It's not too hot, not too cold. I, I feel like I could be way more productive. I, I'd be in the best mood around this time. What a damn good feeling to be an Eagles fan. All right? And we got the Commanders. Honestly, I don't give a fuck about the Commanders. I never did. I don't really acknowledge their quarterback as of yet. You know, I see Austin is crying, you know, trying to call us cheaters and everything, even though she repped the same team that only won last season against us because of the refs. But, of course, she ain't going to bring that up. She was the same one that told us to take our L. Don't blame the refs. And now look what she's doing. Anyway, all she's doing is just saying a lot of cute shit behind memes, you know. Much love, Austin Miss, but come on. I don't believe half the shit you say out your mouth. Anyway. Um. Huh. It's just it's, it's a good feeling. Philly, you can't you can't sit here with a straight face and not just feel excited. We upgraded at safety. We Blankenship. As much as I, I can't wait to see him come back, you know I was excited for uh Sidney Brown, but if we're in win now mode, you feel me? We in win now mode. We in win now mode. Sidney Brown, listen. He will still be the future safety, but until then, for about another year or two, I want Kevin Byard as a starter. You feel me? Both, I mean, both Reed, Sidney Brown and Reed Blankenship, they've been getting hurt. I'm not calling them injury prone or anything as of yet. I'm definitely not calling them that, but listen, they're just not there when we need them the most. I know Reed Blankenship, in his defense, it was a cheap shot that he took, you know, but I hope he comes back. You feel me? But listen. I would say safety was our thinnest, uh, was our most, was our weakest position. And not only did we just upgrade at safety, but we got rid of the person. It's like he was wearing a blindfold while he was out there. It was like he was wearing a blindfold out there. <laughs> we got <laughs> Tennessee traded us Kevin Byer, right? And they got Terrell Edmonds in like a fifth and a sixth. We talking two time all pro. With a history of what, 26, 27 interceptions or whatever? Bro, this is like the best signing we've had. I could say C.J. Gardner-Johnson, but he's a corner. But, of course, he was also great at safety because he was very physical. Plus, you know, he was a ball hawk. But you know what, man? You know what, man? 
But I'm gonna say for an actual safety, that can also play nickel. Bro, bro, this was one of the greatest moves since Malcolm Jenkins. Let me just say that. And we got a true leader. We got identity again at defense. Eagles fans, I don't know what to tell you. If you're not excited, not only to be an Eagles fan, but also a Philly fan, period. It's crazy, man. And the Niners lost yesterday. <laughs> All I'm going to say is Billy Badass, that helmet, is, that helmet that is looking good, you know. The helmet is about to be looking good in my basement. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, hey, man. Hey. I would never forget, though, y'all said the Philadelphia Eagles were overrated for barely beating the Vikings. And just like that, y'all fucking lost. And I picked y'all motherfuckers to win. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. It's go birds. It's fly eagles fly. Oh, let's talk about the refs right quick. We're going to talk about the refs, all right? Let's talk about the refs. So, I didn't even know the Eagles didn't have any penalties that game. I mean, there was two that was offset. An unnecessary roughness, which I'll admit, Jalen Carter kind of, I don't know if that was the call right there that was flopped, that he flopped it, that was, that was considered, the, that was offset, I don't know. And the offsides after the brotherly shove, even though that also shouldn't have been called because apparently whoever was lying next to uh, Jason Kelsey, um, it was the call on him. They were trying to say he was offsides or whatever. Or whatever, or I, I can't, I can't remember exactly what it was, but yeah, it was offset because of that. I don't know. I felt like there were missed penalties on both ends, regardless. Eagles should have had at least that. I, I'll admit, the holding call or the face mask or whatever should have been called on James Bradbury. I'll, I'll flat out admit it should have been called. You feel me? But there were there were times y'all y'all the Dolphins defenders have held AJ Brown. Nobody's bringing that up though. Nobody's bringing that up. Why is nobody bringing that up? Oh, that's right, because it's the Eagles. Everybody wants to wear a blindfold when the Eagles always call out the refs. We always call out the refs, whether we winning or losing. But what have y'all told us? Don't go blaming refs now. Take your L. Eagles fans making excuses. And now look at y'all. Now look at y'all. Y'all doing the exact same thing that we were doing. Calling out referees. But didn't y'all tell us that, um, didn't y'all tell us to take our L? Don't go blaming refs. Or here's the number one thing I've always heard. The refs are human. Oh, 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 but now, but now, they're not so human when, you know, when the Eagles win, they're not so human. Now the refs are full shit or whatever. All I'm going to say is, take your excuses about the refs. Anything y'all want to say, bail the Eagles out or whatever, y'all can take it and shove it up y'all ass. Because if y'all wasn't trying to hear what I had to say about referees, especially in the Super Bowl, then y'all better keep that same energy. Shut the fuck up and take your L. And that's all I got to say. As always, go birds, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Until next time.